Okay, so we're out front now. Still the 27th of July. What we're looking at here is a birdhouse that I constructed in the corner. Yes, I put the hole on the bottom instead of on the top. But it still worked. We got some chickadees that moved in there and they're currently raising young. We've got another birdhouse over here. It is also occupied by, I don't know what, it isn't chickadees. It's probably some kind of a sparrow or something that occupied that one. And then the other birdhouse you're seeing in the far corner is one that we bought in New Orleans. I just couldn't resist buying it from this man. He is reclaiming old wood from the houses out there and building all kinds of different things with them. So I brought home a birdhouse. And nothing is living in there because I didn't put it up till the middle of June. That's when we got home from New Orleans. However, there are some chickadees that fly in there just kind of checking it out. So I'm pretty sure something's going to move in there. The reason you want to attract these type of birds to your yard is that they eat insects. I often see the chickadees, a big flock of chickadees out in the garden eating the insects from our garden. It's a natural pest control and you really want to encourage uh, biodiversity in your own yard which is also why we have all the flowers so that we can encourage biodiversity. This morning I opened the front door and there's a hummingbird eating on this Mexican sunflower and then the hummingbird buzzed over here to these metal flowers and it, I could just picture it saying oh what the hell this is a metal flower there ain't nothing in here and then it went over here and started getting some nectar out of the dahlias and then it went up here to the wasp feeder for some reason must have thought that was a hummingbird feeder and then it flew over here to the mandevilla look at all of the growth on this mandevilla plant it went over here it ate some nectar and I was standing right here at the door and then it flew back here and went after some more Mexican sunflower and then it grabbed some Russian sage and this thing just fed in our garden for quite a few minutes as I watched it was really fun so the hummingbirds what they do is they well, I mean I just love to watch them but they're also pollinators speaking of pollinators well, a lot of bees it's still a little bit early in the morning and a little cool but when it heats up you see tons of bees on this plant right here we've got one right there as a matter of fact this Russian sage is prettier than it has been in years past so there you have it I just wanted to go over a little quick couple things in the front yard talk about birds peace out make it a great day <laughs>